Welcome into this week's Degrees of Science. This week we're talking about an easy way that you can learn about severe weather and in turn could help your community keep safe with severe weather. Today we're joined by Patricia Sanchez from the National Weather Service Office in Fort Worth. Patricia, a lot of people know of Skywarn, but it's more of a storm spotter training. This year you are kind of rebranding it where it's uh, more for people that just want to learn about severe weather, right? Yes, definitely. It, and it's a, you know, it's a concept. We know that Skywarn is kind of a community here in North and Central Texas, uh, but rebranding on renaming it uh, as a severe weather education kind of just opens the door for people to understand the concept and why, you know, we want people to understand what severe weather and also prepare for severe weather. And also uh, the very important part of reporting severe weather in the area. So uh, what would people learn if they went to a Skywarn training? What, what are y'all going to teach them about when it comes to severe weather? Yeah, so we go like through a different phases. The first part is to kind of understand what are the concept, what are severe weather concept, what, uh, what is a thunderstorm, what is a thunderstorm, severe thunderstorm versus a non-severe thunderstorm. Uh, understand a little bit of, of what different ingredients come into together to produce uh, severe weather. All those little tools that kind of understand the uncertainty, but also the same thing. Um, understanding what what costs it and and of course we we kind of go to the second phase of preparing you know what what should people prepare for is their community prepared do you know the what to do in a different locations uh, just so that way we can kind of understand you know if we are prepared we can report to the weather service you know correctly we know what they want what they need uh, but also in the safe and in a timely manner as well one of my favorite parts of your Skyward training is, is how visual the teaching is, because we can tell people what a tornado is or hail and stuff like that, or what the clouds may be doing, but how much does that help people by being able to look at a cloud or what's going on and know what's mm -hmm. happening with the environment? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. One of, uh, we try every, uh, every year we try to rebrand and try to update our, our, our presentation. And it's great that we always go back to their image, you know, the pictures and how we can really uh, understand the different characteristic and and we use all these images that we use is from our people from our community that we get every year that's why we always at the end of the presentation ask the people if you have any uh picture or very interesting um view that you've seen in the past please share it to us so we can reuse it for future presentations mm -hmm. so with your rebranding to more severe weather education how important is it to your office for people that live in y'all's forecast area to, to be educated about severe weather, know what's going on with it. Yes, no, it's 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 pretty much crucial. It's one of our main thing, just because um, if we have our educated community, this is part of our mission. The more people will do, the better decisions we'll make. Uh, and then at the end of the day, you know, it's our influence, you know, with better education, we can influence our community. We can influence our friends, family. So that's kind of like our mission. We do spend a lot of time um, within pretty much every year. We've been doing this uh, for at least 10 years, as, as far as I know, in the in here in North and Central Texas, that we go through uh, kind of going to the community and, and make sure that if, if they even need a little bit of refresher, they can know those little things here and there so they can pass that information and influence others. So we're talking about now that you are trying to educate more than just storm spotters, but tell us how, how important are storm spotters and their information into what you do at the weather service when it comes to watches and warnings and keeping people safe? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a, a one of the very, very important role because our, our spotters, uh, the more people knew, know and understand that can report better. In this classes, we also teach them how to, how to report, what to report, when, and you know all these little things that be as more as specific as possible all those things that can really help us as a warning forecaster to be pretty much the the truth the ground truth the the eyes and ears of what's really happening out there because we do have radars the really great tools uh, across the region but we don't really know exactly what's happening at the surface what's happening really out there so they they play a, a very very crucial and very important role you know, we do have the warning, we do have the reports, we can update the warning to what's really happening and out there. And we can also verify that we, what our warning is saying, it's what's really out there. And we can, of course, keep informing the community next door, the county next door, that might, this storm might could affect you. So it's very, very important. And 
We really appreciate all of our spotters out there. So that, that brings up an interesting point with that. So how much does it help y'all when verifying that stuff that you know it's a train storm spotter compared to just somebody with their cell phone taking a picture and sending it in? Mm -hmm. how, yeah, how much does that help y'all in the verification process? Yes, it definitely just keeps that weight down. We don't know that we don't have to double check it, triple check it, because now with you know, with a picture, you know, with our cell phone, social media, some of these reports can be from previous events or from areas that not here. So being that trained water spotter that we receive that information by phone, by social media, by email, any of those resources, we will be like, okay, we trust this person because they've been in our classes. We know that they are very efficient. They know they know what they're saying and that for sure we can verify and you know, we can keep that information to the to the next county or for the next area that will be impacted. All right, so I'm gonna date myself a little bit here. When I started here, we only would get reports from ham radio operators, and sometimes mm -hmm. that would scare people of, well, I wanna help with storms, but I'm not, I don't know how to do all of that. They're still really important, ham radios, but how much has technology mm -hmm. helped it in getting videos and pictures and information to your office? Oh, yes, it definitely. Not only, like you said, increase the amount that we get because it opens the door for more people, for, for more of our community. And knowing that, you know, it's a trust, trusted source, we know, okay, we can quickly check it and we can, you know, verify or, you know, we, do we have to update the warning? So all that come into a place, but at the same time, the amount has increased over the last several years just because of that opening, which we really appreciate it because that also helps with the verification but also knowing be more specific with the warnings that we uh, that our warning forecasters put out there. When it comes to the 2024 version of Skywarn, y'all cover a really large area and uh, you're not going to every single county, but if people want to attend one of these in person, does it have to be in the county they live or can they go to other places to, to take the class? Yeah, so you don't have to be a resident uh, for the county if you leave you know if your county next door has a class please go yeah there's no registration needed uh, you can definitely attend um in any of the sky warnings around the area i see you know mclennan falls county uh, and correo county across central texas have all classes this year uh, so yeah you don't have to be specific from that county you can join in any of them and also uh, we do have the virtual option again this year that we have at least three classes of basic and two classes of advanced that really opens the door for for more people to join um, and then make sure that they can uh, you know, have that time to to attend to one of these uh, classes. So for people that have attended one before, do you think it's used for them to do the basic again? or And what, what else could they learn also if they attended the advanced version of Skywarn? Yes, uh, it's always a good refresher. There's always um, a new picture or a new topic uh, because of course, like you said before, you know, it's a very condensed a uh, very good explanation of all the characteristics. So we definitely, there's always gonna be a little bit of, you know, here and there that you might to want to refresh. But, but we also, uh, like we said, you know, we do have that advanced class um, that you can utilize it and be more, it will be more in depth. We do a lot of radar interpretation. Uh, what, are, you know, the different colors in the radar means, you know, the different uh, vertical exploration of the, of the atmosphere, you know, what are the very, uh, little things that us as forecaster look to be able to understand what's going to happen. Uh, we even go like a little bit of the forecasting. What are the process that we do? So all that a little more in depth, uh, more advanced concepts, as we would say. But any anybody's uh, level, especially for the advances, will be in virtual. It doesn't matter where you are. You can always attend and take your notes and then go back and, and review those things later on. You said that people don't have to register for the in-person ones, but do they need to register in advance for the virtual classes? Yes, sir. Yes, we will. Do, we do have our registration links in our main page, our uh, weather.gov slash uh, Fort Worth slash Skywarn. We do have all the information and all the registration links in there uh, for all the additional information and the times and the dates and, and the links to register for the virtual classes. Awesome. Well, Patricia, thank you for taking some time to talk with us, and hopefully a lot of people will get out there and continue to, to get educated when it comes to severe weather. Definitely. No, thank you for this opportunity, and we all hope to see you there. Uh, if not on one of our in-person, but we'll say hi in the virtual one, because we believe that the more education, we, the more we know, we definitely be prepared for, for the severe and any, any time of the uh, severe weather season that could happen in our area.